If you don't like photo radar, you were disappointed this week as the state Senate defeated a bill that would have let Arizonans vote on it. I'm not sure that public balloting on which tools law enforcement should use is advisable, you know, mace or pepper spray. And besides, the so-called personal liberty issues involving photo enforcement have been fully answered. Driving is a privilege, not a right, and anyone can be legally photographed if they are on public property. And likewise, anyone, not merely police, can nearly always take a picture if he or she is located on public property. So you don't want to be photographed? Don't drive. Or more practically, and why this is necessary to say I don't know, if you don't want to be photographed doing something in public you shouldn't do, then don't do it. That means keep your clothes on, of course, and don't drive more than 11 miles per hour over the limit, which is how speed cameras are set. And don't run red lights. Most every poll on this subject is show more support than opposition to photo enforcement systems. Still, opponents are vocal and active. That's good. We should always ask tough questions of law enforcement. And if opponents are right when they say that enough Arizona voters want to put the question on the ballot, there's another way to do that besides waiting for the legislature. Go out and get enough signatures yourselves. If the opposition is as strong and widespread as opponents say, then they should have no trouble getting enough valid signatures. They've been trying to do that for a couple of years now, but so far, no one's turned in any petitions. I wonder why. I'm Mark Scarp, and that's On The Mark. Want more? Read my column this Sunday and every Sunday in the East Valley Tribune. <music>